What I wanted to cover in this first video is a couple different ways for orienting your map. Obviously, orienting your map is useful in relating the features that you're seeing on the map um, to what's going on in the real world, um, the actual terrain. And um, I covered declination in a separate video, um, but in order to do this accurately, I have to include it. So I just included one of the easier methods here. And you can see I drew a bunch of uh, magnetic north lines on my map, so I'm going to stick with that. Um, um, using those lines and come back to my final video and you'll see uh, what that's about and, uh, and maybe some other ways to deal with it as well. So in order to orient your map, um, one of the more prevalent methods being taught is to set your compass to north and then what it'll allow you to do is then take the side of your compass and align it with, um, in this case, the magnetic lines that I drew on the map. And what you do is you see my north needle is pointing this way, my doghouse is this way. You spin both together until you box the needle. When that happens, you are your map is properly oriented to your surroundings. Now that method's cool, it's fine, it's easy, it works, um, but it does have drawbacks um, to it. The only advantage that it really does is it allows you to align these meridian lines in your capsule with the edge of the compass. So it's allowing you to use the edge of your compass um, rather than the meridian lines. And what I'm about to show you is I can do the same thing with having my bezel at any angle. The only thing I got to do is not use the edge of the compass anymore and I'll show you why. So I've got my map here again. I want to orient it. Instead of using the edge, what I do is look at those meridian lines in the center. I line them up those meridians with again my magnetic north there we go and then spin them both together again until I box the doghouse and there you go my map is oriented again um, the reason that works obviously is because those north south meridians are not changing that doghouse is not changing the needle's still north it's all working it's all working the same and actually uh, it's probably a touch easier to do because these meridian lines in the capsules are kind of fine and you can really line them up with those lines really good. Um, the other advantage this has, it's got a couple advantages actually, is one is um, let's say you're hiking through the woods and you you pull a steel bearing off your map and you're at a bearing of 40 degrees. So you're shooting the bearing, you're picking a landmark, you're walking to it, you're picking another landmark, walking to it, then you stop, want to stop and consult your map so you want to orient it real quick. Well, all you do is lay it down and turn it. There you go, you're oriented. You don't have to screw with spinning this back and then trying to remember what your bearing was and spinning it back. You can just do it really quickly without changing it. That's one big advantage is um, not having to mess with that if you're on a current current course of a bearing. The other option is, is let's say you are you know, hiking around in this area over here and you want to set just a general safety bearing of, let's say, southwest. Just one of those things that you want to set on your compass. You know you're not going to get lost, but if all else fails, that'll get you out of the woods. So you set a southwest bearing, your safety bearing. You can go hike around the woods. You can still consult your map all you know all day long. Rotate it, check your you know orient your map, check your surroundings, all that stuff without losing the safety bearing that you set on your compass. So that's a quick tuto tutorial on uh, orienting your map.